unbothered. According to Google, the word unbothered is an adjective and is defined as showing or feeling a lack of concern about or interest in something. For me, the word unbothered is a noun. It's another word for acceptance of what is, good and bad. For me, the word unbothered does not mean uninterested, unsympathetic, or oblivious. It means being in a state of acceptance of things we can't change and continue to change the things we can. In other words, for me, being unbothered means the absence of resistance. As long as our thoughts and actions are in alignment with our guidance, and as long as our energy continues to support our actions, we shouldn't feel the need to explain our choices to others. Instead, we need to be okay with being misunderstood. The key is to pay attention to how our energy feels at all times, as this will be our confirmation to keep going. In other words, this is our karma. As humans, we tend to focus on the tangible, and trusting in divine timing is easier said than done, especially in a world that thrives on schedules and deadlines. But if we only could see the divine orchestration that is always happening behind the scenes, it would be effortless to be unbothered by our current circumstances. In other words, it would be easy to be in a state of acceptance of what is. See, when we realize that we're not going to be here forever, and everything in our human existence is transitory, it's important to be unbothered by where we find ourselves at any given moment, knowing we're just passing through. I believe that there is a lesson in every situation we find ourselves in, and the harder the lesson, the greater the growth. The way I see it, if the lesson is repeated over and over again, it's because this particular lesson is important to our soul. In other words, nothing has gone wrong, and everything we're going through, good and bad, is important for our soul's growth. So when we find ourselves going through struggle. What this means for me is that something important is happening. We're in the process of learning something very important about ourselves. As a result, I try to remind myself to be unbothered by how long the lesson takes to learn and how it plays out knowing it's divinely orchestrated to serve my highest good. It's often a lesson that will be life transforming. It's often a lesson that is meant to prepare us for our next level of growth. It's often a lesson that serves as a catalyst for our awakening. See, I believe there are more moving parts to our story than meets the eye. I believe there is always something happening behind the scenes. And as long as we continue to follow our guidance and our energy continues to support our actions, we should be unbothered by how our life looks at every stage of our journey. Just know 
our journey is constantly moving. We're never stuck. Bottom line, the quality of our human existence is directly connected to our relationship with God. The quality of our human existence is directly connected to our relationship with our higher self. The quality of our human existence is directly connected to our relationship with our intuition. See, I believe building a strong relationship with our intuition is like building a muscle. The more we work with it, the stronger it gets. Eventually, we will come to a point where the guidance we receive from our higher self is obvious. We will know without a doubt the difference between the guidance that comes from our intuition versus our logical brain. It's undeniable. And when we follow the guidance, the support we will feel from within is overwhelming. When we realize that our steps are always being guided, and when we consciously choose to follow this guidance, the outside noise is irrelevant. In other words, being in a state of acceptance for what happens outside of our relationship with our Creator is the key to feeling peaceful. Now, of course, there will always be times when people behave in hurtful ways. It's all part of the human experience. It's inevitable. However, we get to decide if it deserves our energy. And if the answer is no, then let it go. Cher once said, if it doesn't matter in five years, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the word unbothered can mean different things to different people. For me, to be unbothered means to be in a state of acceptance of things we can't control. In other words, it is what it is. I have a quote I'd like to share with you. This quote is by Andy Warhol. Sometimes people let the same problem make them miserable for years when they could just say, so what? That's one of my favorite things to say. So what? Well, this is all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions or you'd simply like to connect, feel free to do so through my personal email. I've listed it in the description below. Until we meet again, be safe and make sure to keep paying attention to your karma. It's our greatest teacher.